So I never thought it would happen, but the Keys is literally shut down. Um, it's just amazing to me. I know the rest of the country is shut down too, but the Keys is just so eerie when, uh, when, when, I mean, when, when, in your hometown right now, it's probably shut down as well, but I think, I think you, even though you're locked in your house and you're self-quarantining, and the Keys is different because when it's, when this place is, is, is shut down, there's no tourists. There's no one. Um, our, uh, our resident population here in the Keys is extremely low. There's not very many people that live here year round. So when, the, uh, when they ordered all of the tourists to leave, all the hotels shut down, all of the restaurants are shut down except for takeout, everybody left and all the boats are gone. It's, uh, it's pretty much a ghost town down here, uh, which is amazing. So hopefully when this whole thing is over with and everybody gets back to normal, and um, the Keys will also resume and get back to normal as well. But we were especially hard, hit very, very hard after uh, Hurricane Irma. And um, this looks as bad as that, except for the damage. But I mean, as far as it being, no business being conducted, I mean, it's incredible. Um, yeah, I've never seen it really like this. So follow me as I do a little walking tour of Key Largo, the upper keys anyway, um, just to kind of show you uh, what it looks like down here. For those of you who visit, you'll recognize these places and you'll also understand what it means when there's nobody here. So follow me. So follow me. So here's the Marriott. They're all locked down. Guys, it closed up, huh? Sorry to see it, man. It's rough. It's rough, man. It looks strange. Everything's so empty. Look, hopefully it comes back soon. All right, man. Take care, all right? Be safe. I know there's a lot of sun in the back, but even the, even the beautiful Marriott Resort is closed down. The parking lot is empty. Um, just, just bizarre, man. It's just uh, crazy. I hate to see the keys this way. So here's the marina. Right behind Cactus Jacks, I'm walking anyway. And uh, as you can tell, as you can tell the marina's locked up tight. No boats in, no boats out, no fuel. That saddens me greatly uh, because I've got some fuel on the boat right now, but once that's gone, <laughs> that, that looks like that'll be it. So I'm gonna have to use it sparingly, if at all. There's sundowners looking pretty eerie. Not a soul over there eating. The bay looks just empty. God, it's quiet. Not at all the way the keys are supposed to be. Not at all. Cactus Jacks. I've sat many, uh, many an evening. Just kind of hanging out. This is locked up tight. Just a little sign on there that just says CJ's will be closed this evening. Pretty rough. Pretty rough. Nobody working, no charter boats going. Some people coming in just uh, to pick up some food from the takeout, but uh, other than that, that's it. This place is usually a happening, jamming place. So, knowing that, uh, that everyone else is going through this across the country doesn't make it feel any better, but. Um, Know that our hearts uh, and prayers go out with you as well because we know everybody's going through a uh, really trying time right now. A little display out here up front. A little fish that I'm not catching right now. The mahi that got away. Hopefully we'll be back out on the water soon catching all these fish. Senior Frijole is one of my favorite places. Uh, Captain Dad. Yeah, we're just out doing a little walking tour of Key Largo. Just showing everybody back home what's going on. Hopefully they'll come back soon. Yeah, hopefully. And freak, you know, come back, frequent the places, and get us back up and running, because it's going to be tough. Yeah, hopefully. It's going to be real tough. So, anyway. Well, good luck to you, man. Uh, so hopefully this is over with soon, guys. Thank See ya. You. Yep. All right, that pretty much says it all. So, to go. We'll do curbside, dockside, food, beer, wine, and spirits to go while this lasts. Got a way to go, Sundowners. That's keeping us going. And there it is, the big chill. Now, I'm walking through the parking lot of the Big Chill, and it is pretty chill right now. More chill than I've ever seen it. Like every once in a while you see a car, but you figure that's staff. Some of these places have guards to make sure people aren't coming in and looting the places. 
Typically, this place would be jammed with some music in the afternoon. People would be hanging out partying. Definitely not the case today. So we're doing a lot of cleaning and just kind of getting everything ready for when it does come back. We're just kind of cleaning up and just kind of hanging out. I'm sure I got to get out of here. A big chip. One of our favorite places to hang out. Still doing pizzas, so if you're local down here, you can order a pizza and pick it up. But they do not deliver. Probably the best pizza in town, or at least one of them. That pretty much that pretty much says it all. And the Caribbean Club. I think a lot of people want to come and uh, put their boats in because it's one of the few ramps in town other than Pennacamp. So got some barricades up. I'm gonna go find out to see if this ramp is uh, is open or not. There's some cars in here. I also see some trailers. So I'm like, hmm, maybe you can still get in and out at the Caribbean. I'm looking at some trailers here. Yeah, look at that. How's it going? Is the ramp open? Oh, so you have to talk to him. Is the ramp open? Yeah. Oh, great. All right, cool. Okay, so you got to be a resident. So I come down and just show my driver's license and then we're cool. Awesome. What about guys who are down here right now who are stuck here from out of state? Can they get out? Yeah, they can get out if okay. they're already in. Okay, cool. All right, I got a guy who's going to try to get out. He didn't know if he can come and, and get out. So, all right, cool. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. You guys have a good one, all right? Yeah. Pretty much says it all down here as far as all the businesses are concerned. I need some, I need some braid. I need some small trouble hooks. Look at that. Wow. Huh? Hey, look at that. The Alamorado location remains open. So that's kind of cool. That's good to know. All right. So anybody down here local, you know the deal. So cool. There's Miller's Village. And they're all shut down as well. That's a really cool place. And I love that. Always, always lit up like Christmas. And then a single car in the parking lot, except for the people who live up on the top. There's an apartment on the top. As far as customers, of course, there's no one. Even if you're moving some homemade ice cream, they're closed down as well. Right across the street is the Sun Diver Snorkel Tours. You can see that parking lot's empty. How often do you get to see that? on US 1 in Key Largo. Completely empty on both sides. And there's the Lazy Lobster right there. And they look like, uh, it looks like takeout only. So people are at least complying and they're listening to uh, what's going on. Hey guy. And uh, yeah, takeout only down here in Key Largo for now. So here we are at the world famous Pentacamp State Park which is one of my favorite places, very cool place. And um, I don't know, it looks like, uh, looks like this place is closed, locked up tight. I think because it's a considered a beach park that uh, it's closed. We're gonna go check it out. <clears throat> yep, looks that way. Yep. So it looks like the park is cool. And there's the Lover's Boutique. Also, also very closed down here. In, uh, Normally, uh, a vacationer's paradise. Uh, but this uh, particular week, as uh, today begins, it's shut down. Of course, they get some. Uh, so, uh, oh, wait, it says it's open. Let's go see if it's really open or not. Aha! No public bathrooms. Holiday specials, adult videos. Yep, they are open. Open. Nobody. 
Ruby's here. Uh, hey, you're open. Yeah. I'm shocked. I didn't think anything was open in town. I'm gonna help you. No, just came in to see if you were open. Okay. Have a great day. <laughs> Even the fish house closed down for business except for takeout. Sandals factory, same thing. There's no cars out here on the road. I don't know where they're going. But, uh, any of the tourist stuff and any of the hotels are all closed down. Yep, Alfredo's takeout only. We love Alfredo's. So when you guys come back down to the Keys when it reopens, come on down here, especially for breakfast. They got a great menu. But uh, Alfredo's is great in the mornings. For those late mornings, when everything else is closed for breakfast, Alfredo's. <laughs> Still serve you breakfast. This is Ace Hardware. Completely shut down. Not a single person inside. The post next to it. All the other associated uh, small businesses all shut down. So here's something interesting. As the Florida Keys start to shut down, or actually shut down, here's the Hampton Inn in Key Largo. Completely fenced off, if you will. I mean, that says it all right there. Hampton Inn. Closed. Nobody in, nobody out. Except for Diamond members. Diamond members can park right here on the street. Other than that, closed to everybody else. Because it's just about everything else around the keys. All the, all the boat, uh, boat dealers. Um, uh, now there's the uh, market hotel, it looks like, because that's a food establishment. But all the bars, all the tchotchke shops, the pawn shop over there across the street, even looks like the government building up here is shut down as well. So that's it. I mean, that's what it looks like down here. I know, knowing full well, of course, that uh, I'm sure everything's pretty much the same as in your town. Just thought I'd give you an idea about, especially for those people who come down here and visit to see some of the landmarks that are just locked up tight. I mean, I think everything's shut. Even, even even for the locals, we can get food, but I think all the marinas are shut down. Any kind of support like that is all gone uh, until they decide to reopen. So even for us down here, we won't be able to get offshore either, uh, as far as I know, uh, unless we get Rec 90 gas, maybe out of the gas station. But uh, so I guess from our family to yours, stay safe. I think listen to the government at this point. Um, you've got to self-quarantine yourself if you have any kind of um, symptoms at all. If we're going to get through this thing sooner rather than later, I think trying to limit engagements with people, as hard as that is, um, until, until, we, until we can get this thing behind us. Because we seem to pass it amongst ourselves really, really quickly. And although they're saying that the death rate is not that high, the sickness rate is extremely high. And for our senior citizens, it's even worse. So be safe, do the right things. We're gonna see you on the other end of this and hopefully it's gonna be a great summer down here in, uh, in Key Largo and, uh, and all the Keys. So God bless, be safe. Thanks a lot for following us.